Welcome back. You're watching Mornings Live with Tinica and Will and we are getting very excited with this long weekend for Easter. It's of course, the obvious comes to mind, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate and more mm. chocolate. I cannot wait to sink my teeth into some of that cocoa goodness and I read an article <laughs> the other day, Will, that didn't make me feel so bad about my guilty indulgence of chocolate. A study published by the European Heart Journal of more than 19,000 Germans has revealed that those who ate an average of seven or more grams of chocolate per day had lower blood pressure and a lower risk of stroke and heart attack. Yes, exciting news. There it is. Boom. There it is. An excuse to eat chocolate. So we're joined by Alistair Haig <laughs> of Famous Haig's Chocolate. Alistair, are you selling out this time of year? It must be busy for you. Uh, we, we are. The, uh, the, the shelves are emptying very rapidly. I better get in there quickly then. I haven't yeah. done my chocolate shop yet. Absolutely. <laughs> now, Alistair, um, well, we, we speak to you just, of course, uh, ahead of Easter today. Uh, uh, I, I read uh, an interesting little uh, comment about uh, your company, Hague's, uh, in an article just recently that said, in fact, you're the only company that does, uh, well, one of only two in, a in Australia that makes chocolate from bean to bar. Uh, well, no, I mean, all chocolate is made from beans, but... Um, okay. uh, we're, we're sort of um, uh, almost unique because we, we do ourselves start off with the raw cocoa beans yeah. and go right through to the um, uh, ca retail customer through our own retail shops. Normally there's a break somewhere in, the, in that process, but uh, yeah. we go right through, yeah. That's absolutely fabulous. Now, uh, with this article that I was reading about how you know chocolate can be good for you and stuff like that, I know you do work for a chocolate shop, but um, tell us a little bit about the health benefits, I guess, from chocolate, so I can get a little <laughs> yeah. bit more excited about yeah. it all. Okay, well, the um, the health benefits are actually in the uh, in the cocoa. So the more cocoa that's in the uh, in the chocolate, the, uh, the the better for you. But uh, uh, once you start getting beyond sort of about 70% uh, concentration. Um, the, the taste can can get a bit um, overpowering, mm. so uh, the, the benefits are in the cocoa, and uh, what there is is there's um, uh, some good um, uh, substances in there that uh, turn bad cholesterol into good cholesterol and mm. uh, and do all the other things that you mentioned. That's Jeez, right. That P sounds like magic. Poor old chocolate has a bad name. I don't know, so uh, Alistair. Uh, now, now tell me, I, you know, I want all, all mug punters out there. I mean, they all have, have a bit of Hague's chocolate and a bit of something else, and be able to say, well, that's Hague's is high quality stuff. Now, uh, it, it, you, you sort of do you get almost a, a, to become a connoisseur somewhat working in the industry, and that being the case, do you pick, pick up some bits of chocolate and just say this is utter rubbish? Uh, well, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I, I guess um, uh, partly because of a. Uh, particular brand and uh, packaging, uh, I guess you, you can know that before uh, you sort of even taste it. But, uh, but other things, I mean, especially a lot of um, handmade products sort of put put uh, the handmade as, as, as a sign of quality, but that definitely may not be the case because if you start off with a um, inferior chocolate, it doesn't no matter how, how handmade it is, it's still mm. not going to taste very nice. But what is, what is mm. then, excuse my ignorance, what is the superior chocolate? What is the... Uh, what 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 are the the key factors here? Well, it's, uh, first of all, I guess it's it's smooth. So actually, when it um, uh, melts in your mouth, yep. um, you can't taste any um, grittiness. Mm. Uh, so it, it's just yep. a very smooth product. So that's the first thing. And then uh, there's the flavour and aroma. And um, and then you don't want any sort of um, nasty aftertaste. So. Well, you know what? In my house, um, my parents were always a little bit on the, the budget restraints, and I always used to get the you know one dollar reject shop chocolate, the really oh, big one, no. and they thought, oh, oh, it's bigger, so it must be better, and it would always <laughs> stick to the roof of your mouth, and you'd have that kind of yeah. bitter taste, no, and it'd no be good. absolutely horrible. I'd much prefer a small, really good quality chocolate mm. than you know the the big is better. It's not yeah, always well, the way. You I say. mean, a lot of people actually mistake uh, compound chocolate or compound choc for, for chocolate and if it's got the vegetable fats and kofa instead of cocoa butter in it um, that's the sort of typical thing you can find that it sort of does well it won't melt and it sticks to the roof of your mouth yeah well, it's, nasty. it's interesting you, you say that the different textures and flavors and, and quality and bits and pieces like that I mean how has been an institution here in uh, in SA I, I just wonder have you seen Alistair of your time do tastes change when it comes to chocolate, or is what what's good now? Would it have been good 30 years ago, and vice versa? 
Oh, no, the tastes have definitely changed. I yeah. think, you know, when I started in the business, our biggest selling uh, cream chocolate was was our peppermint creams. Yep. Um, and, and, you know, if you look across um, a lot of companies, they, they have heavily um, biased towards sort of peppermint flavour, and, uh, and that's now changed. And um, our best selling uh, uh, cream at the moment is, is a violet cream. So, oh. um, well, the, the changes like that. And then across the board, you'd have to say that uh, our customers, and I think in general, have have moved across more, more to dark. Um, it, it's probably a sign of um, sort of the aging population, yep. um, and um, uh, sort of their, their yeah. They know that dark is better for them as well. That's why. Well, that's true. That's yeah. true. Yes, yeah, they're they're reading reading more and more good things about dark chocolate. Oh, absolutely wonderful. Thank you for letting us know that chocolate's good for us. I'll definitely take that away. That's uh, Alistair Hay from Hay's Chocolates. <laughs>